Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to today's Pokemon unboxing video where I have got ba -da -ba -ba -ba, a box battle for y'all. How excited are we? I mean, I know I'm excited. <laughs> we have got Paldea Evolved here, the newest set from Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet series. And I have got, per usual, the normal version of the Elite Trainer box that you can find in stores, places like Target. But then I have also got the Pokemon Center exclusive, which I am so excited. I would like to think Pokemon like watches my videos and they took a hint. <laughs> They didn't, you guys. My, my channel is like way too tiny. I am not on their radar at all. I don't know, but somehow they got the message that people love things that are limited. Yeah, um, something with value. And the thing was for so long with these Pokemon Center exclusive elite trainer boxes, it was one of those things where really the only exclusive part about it was that it cost more. You got a couple more packs and sometimes they would make the damage markers and stuff a little different or you would get a jumbo coin or something in it. Well, we like promo cards, okay? And even more than that, we like promo cards that are limited, as I said. So now they have started coming out, as you can see. Well, I'll show you when the cards come out of these boxes, but either way, they've got the Pokemon Center logo on there now. And I didn't notice that in the original Scarlet and Violet base set Elite Trader boxes that I opened. And my God, I am so happy that I figured that out. I don't remember, I think I was organizing my promo binder and I was looking on TCG Player to see what promos had come out so far for Scarlet and Violet. And I noticed that there were a couple different listings for the exact same promo cards that came in those Elite Trainer boxes. And I noticed that one of them was worth significantly more. Like the original one was worth like a buck or two. And then another one was worth like 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, but why? And then I noticed that it had the little label of the Pokemon Center on it. And I was like, oh crap, did I completely, like I knew I didn't get rid of them, but I also didn't remember mine having that on them. And so I went and checked and thankfully I was able to find them. <laughs> So now I have them both uh, displayed in my binder. I was just gonna keep them sealed to have a couple that were still sealed because I had extras, but uh, no, now I can proudly display them and be like, mm, I have both. And now I can do so with this one as well. So blah, 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 you guys. Well, either way. Elite Trainer Boxes. I am super excited to open these. Uh, so I did my blind unboxing where, as the name suggests, I went in blind. I didn't know about the set. Well, now I know things. I have looked at the set for the most part anyways. There are still some that inevitably I'll forget that they were in the set or slash I'll also find out that, hey, some cards that I didn't think were in this set actually are in this set. I guess that's just with one card, but either way, I now know that there's stuff I want to be hunting for aside from the Iono Mukbang card, which like super cute card. I'm also glad to see that it was just the Japanese one that ended up being like a thousand dollars. I mean, I'm not glad to see that it's like a hundred some dollars here in English, but it's a little more affordable. Not that I'm ever gonna buy it, but uh, I, I hope I can pull it. We'll see, and we're gonna see together. So an elite trainer box, per use. We've got the sleeve that has the uh, card, not card, the pack artworks on the inside. So if you wanna undo this and like hang it up or something, you've got artwork. It also comes with the player's guide, which I love, really cute. It's got the starters on it for this set. And it's also just got, uh, you know, stuff about the game and then and also it has the card list in here, the set list. So lots of stuff to be looking for. Let's see, the main ones that I wanna pull that I can think of, hmm, there's a lot of really good ones, but if I could choose, I love the Fue Coco in the grocery shopping cart, so cute. Of course, we've got a few Komia artworks, which are great. I mean, we've got a lot of them from artists that I really love. The Tyranitar look looks so epic. The mouse hold card is adorable. This Dedene EX, shut up. If I pull that card, I'm going to 
lip. It is so cute. The Grusha card is absolutely beautiful with the starly. And then if I could pick a gold card, either of the energies or the Mouscarada gold card would be my picks. So there you go. For anyone who cares, those are the main things I'm hunting for. But aside from that, mainly I'm just hunting for new cards. It's a new set. I'm excited to fill out my binder. So more new, more better, at least if you ask me. So in here, we've just got all the separation. We have got dice in the markers. Ooh, what a cool dice. Not that I use these, but look, it's striped. How cool is that, the main one? Love that, that's fun. We've got our usual stack of energies. We've got our deck separators. Mine came a little schmooshed, that's kind of sad, but I really only use these to separate out my bulk, so it's okay. Then we've got our cute little sleeves here. Are they still making them matte? For some reason. Yes, they are. Bummer. But what I'm really here for are these packs of cards. The regular Elite Trainer Box, it looks like it comes with nine, plus this gorgeous Black Star promo card. I'll show you a close up in a second here. So it's so cute. And then we also have the Pokemon Center box, which is gonna have mostly the same stuff, same dice and marker, same separator. <laughs> Did I look out? Oh no, okay, so that's how they're doing it now. Okay, so in the Pokemon Center one, we get one without the Pokemon Center label, and then we get one with the Pokemon Center label. That's really interesting. I wonder why they chose to do that. But kind of cool, so maybe you don't feel the need to buy two boxes. That's nice. We've got the same sleeves, cute, albeit for me, unusable. Same separators, right? Energy block, I almost called it a stick. Uh, and then we have packs, 11 packs. So you do still get two extra packs, you know, you get a little bit extra in the Pokemon Center one. So I would say if they continue doing that where they include the unmarked promo card and the marked promo card, that's the best route to go. You know, even though you're paying a little extra, I don't know, I think that's nice. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna get these promo cards out of their little wrapper cut this off, what am I doing? And then we can get our box battle started. Alrighty, so box battle, box battle. Pokemon Center has to do a little bit better because it's got a couple extra packs, but here we can take a peek at the promo card. Isn't it gorgeous and so cute? I love this card. I feel like there was kind of a similar one at the start of Sword and Shield, but it came in a collection box, but it had Pikachu and the three starters in it and it's really cute. This one just gives me that same vibe and it's just, I, I love this card, you guys. This is too cute. It is amazing. And as you can see, the Pokemon Center one is exactly the same, except it has this right here where it says Pokemon Center on it. It's the only difference. <laughs> but people like me care, okay? So there we have it. The beautiful promo, beautiful Black Star promo that I love. But I want to get into these packs, my friends. Let's see if we can at least just pull value, you know? That's always nice when you can be like, okay, it was actually worth buying those instead of feeling like, oh, I should have just bought singles with that money that I spent on these boxes, but that is always a part of the gamble, a part of the rush, a part of the whatever you're going to want to say with opening up Pokemon cards. So let's go ahead and take a look, see what we got, and we can do so together. I mean, for me, this set has just been so cutesy. Like, I have loved the cuteness of the artwork in this set. And also it looks like there's a lot of great, you know, alt arts and art rares. So let's see, we've got a reverse Mankey. We got one, yes, okay, we got Tinkaton, cute. We'll take a closer look in just a second. Behind it, we've got a hollow Tyranitar, very nice. I love starting out with a hit. As much as this, you know, Tinkaton, Tinkatuff, Tinka Tink, I think those are all of their names. Um, as much as they're not like my favorite, I know they're a fan favorite, and I actually love this artwork. It is super duper cute. I love the colors, very nice and it is an art rare. It's a double gold star, so we love to see it. It's got the texture on it, everything I love. That's a beautiful card right there, my friends. I 
love it. And I love starting out on a good pack. So let's see if we can keep the luck going. I don't know, but we shall see. What do you guys think? Am I gonna pull that Iono card? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't get over how much I love. It's, it's not, is it really a pun? I don't know, but I don't know, but. I do love saying it. Paul Day and Wooper, so cute. An adorable Pikachu, a cute Q font. I love Grusha, so cute. I want that scarf. Please and thank ya. Uh, we've got a reverse Pikachu. I have pulled this one before, but it's really nice as a reverse. Oh my goodness! We have got the Tinka Tink Art Rare. This one's just the single gold star, so it's got no texture to it, but very cute. And, oh my goodness, <laughs> what are the odds in our first two packs that we pull the whole evolutionary line? <laughs> that's amazing. I don't know that Tinkaton has an art rare, but that's just, that's real fun to see. <laughs> So very cute Tinka Tink there. Very nice. At least I really like it, and it's one that I don't already have, so I like it that much more. And for anyone that didn't get a chance, or wait, no. Oh, I got excited. Never mind. We got Tinka Tink and Tinka Ton times two. Sorry, I thought for some reason this was the middle evolution just by looking at it. I thought it was Tinka Tough. That's my bad. Okay, I got all excited, but uh, still kind of cool, right? <laughs> Kind of, okay. Well, either way, let's go ahead. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if there's an art rare for Tinka Tough. Uh, I don't know, that'd be cool if we pull it in this third pack, but if not, that's okay. We just love seeing the new artworks, the new cards, at least I do. So let's go ahead and see if this pack is gonna have anything new in it. I love that Pommy card, Sandy Gas, the Larvitar, we have got Toxicroak, we have got Crocolore, a Pelipper flying so high in the air, we've got Frigibax, is that how you pronounce it? We have got a Tinka Tough, there we go. <laughs> There we completed the evolutionary line and a Luxray Hollow. That's kind of amazing in three packs to do that. Anywho, anyone else? I don't know. I'm kind of startled by that. I can't be the only one. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. That was technically our first non-banger pack of cards. It was bound to happen. I mean, the odds of pulling all nine packs to all have a hit in it, that's just... It'd be amazing, but I don't, technically it's possible, but would it happen? I don't know, my friends. Let's see what this pack has in store for us. We have got a Reverse Crow Gunk. We have got a Sableye, that's a rare. I haven't pulled that card before, beautiful artwork. And then we have got a Hollow Mimikyu. Alrighty, very nice. Now let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this pack. Have you guys opened up much Paldea Evolved yet? What have your thoughts been so far? Even if you haven't opened it yourself, have you been seeing any unboxings online? How has it been looking? That tarantula is so cute! So cute! Charcadet, Murkrow, we have got Mistrevis about to attack us. We have got a bunch of cards that I have seen already. We have got a beautiful Skip Loom artwork. We have got an Orthworm. A reverse rare and... <laughs> okay. I'm apparently the squawkabilly king queen why did I just okay apparently I'm a king in my mind I really do. I'm a peasant in my mind let's be honest um, but squawkabilly god it has become so common to see these grid lines in like it's not the normal print lines that you would get in old Watsy cards, but this one's, it's like grid lines these days. I don't know about that, but either way, we got a double banger pack. We got Squawkabilly EX. We, <laughs> I only say I'm the Squawkabilly King Queen because I got quite a few Squawkabillies uh, in my booster box that I opened here on the channel. Sorry, spoiler alert, but uh, not a Pokemon that I particularly love. I guess I don't have anything against it. It's just not, I don't know. I guess I like that it has different color variations. That makes it kind of fun. But, oh, this combi artwork. Shut up. Shut up. It just gives me the cute aggression. It's just, like, are you guys seeing it like I am? Like, this is just a cute 
cutesy set and I love it. I mean, obviously like not all of the artworks are cutesy, but like overwhelmingly, there's a lot of cutesy artworks in this. We've got a Spiritum Reverse Rare and a Masquerada EX. All right, I haven't pulled this one yet. Very nice. We have got the Sparkly Stars. Can you see it? Very, very nice. We love double banger packs, especially when those double bangers are cards that I don't have yet. This is the truth. This is the actual truth. Pardon me, my memory card filled up. The haters are gonna say that I faked this pack if there's anything good in here, but uh, let them think that, darn it. Give me the Iono. <laughs> Either Iono, you know, the full art or the alternate art. They're both expensive cards. We've got a Super Rod Reverse. We have got a Cutie Combi Reverse. And we've got a Slacking for a Hollow. Almost miscut there. That is a skinny line up top. Now, two more packs for this first Elite Trainer box. I feel like so far it's treated me decently well, you know. Certainly I've had much, much worse luck. Although the addition of a trainer, not it's not the trainer gallery anymore. Just the art rares, I guess, is that what we're calling them? Uh, the addition of that has really helped pull rates, that's for sure. Even though overall, when I first opened this set, I love, that's one of my favorite clay cards, I think, with the reflections and stuff. It's so good. But yeah, it's, I don't know, the pull rates haven't seemed great for this set so far. But I also have only opened a booster box and then this, so... I guess I don't really have much skin in the game, but either way, so Viper, we have got a Reversal Energy, and we have got a Hollow Orthworm. Okay, my friends, can we get some last pack magic? Anything, really. I mean, so long as it's new, I will be happy. Let's get a gold card, shall we? It's asking for a lot, um, but I don't know. Let's get, a, let's get a gold card that I don't already have. How about that? Please don't make me double up. It is so rare that I ever double up on rainbows or gold cards, but when I do, please make it a good one. <laughs> please. Oh, oh, oh. And the one gold card that I've pulled from this set before is not what I would consider a good gold card, so let's not double up on that, yeah? <laughs> okay, we've got a Glimet for a reverse. We have got a Toxicroak for a reverse. And we've got a Veluza for a regular hollow rare. Okay, so that was our first Elite Trainer Box. That was the regular one. Let's see what the Pokemon Center version can do. Can it do us any better? I don't know. I'm gonna hope and dream. I'm gonna keep this one sealed just cause I think that's fun to do. So you gotta do at least one hit better in order to beat that original Elite Trainer Box. Let's see if we can do it. Just like the packs feel different. These first, the first Elite Trainer Box packs, the wrapper felt super thick. This one feels super thin. I don't know what the deal is with that. If it's just, I don't know, different days at the factory or what's going on, but I have noticed that in other sets too. It's just strange, um, but that's okay. Let's see what we can, I, I love Feridoran. I would say I want a hoodie that's like that because I think it's so cute on the Pokemon but when I think about this on my head as a hood in real life that's terrifying I don't know that I actually want that <laughs> all right we've got a fledgling very sassy we have got a pupitar and we did get a larvitar in that pack somewhere didn't we okay but we got evolution fun I mean not super fun because I have these cards well the reverse maybe not but um Let's see what we can do. Can I get the beautiful Tyranitar? The very epic looking art rare. That would be nice. Looks like a gorgeous card. As always, don't be greedy with the code cards, please. I don't think people ever actually listen to me when I say that, but I gotta try and say it. And as always, if you do get one of my code cards, please let me know if you get anything good or bad. I mean, it's more fun if you get something good, but like, just let me know what you got. And let's see, we've got a reverse rare. Didn't I get Spirit Tomb as a reverse in my other box? Okay, random. And then a Gyarados. It's a very, very nice. I'm so sad. I'm so I'm playing through uh, Legends Arceus. I know, backwards. But it is what it is. And I was just playing this morning and I was doing one of my little side quests, one of my tasks, and I came across an Alpha Gyarados. I accidentally killed it. I didn't mean to. I was strong. No, I wasn't stronger than I thought, but I got a critical hit. I was pissed. 
<laughs> but hey, it is what it is. That's that. It's not like I was planning on using him on my team, but either way. Choice belt. We have got a combi. And we have got to do better, Pokemon Center. Come on. I mean, really, I guess all it takes is one, the, the one Iono card, but like, that's just to make value. If you want to beat the original Elite Trainer Box, you gotta be doing better. This isn't gonna cut it. I, I'm feeling as defeated as this slack off right there. Okay, Wattrel. One of the cutest little Fue Cocos. He's grown on me. I hated his design at first. But darn has it grown on me. <laughs> you got a cute little personality. So we've got reversal energy. Okay, we've got a gold super rod. And then we've got a very cute hollow jump fluff. Um, I feel like this card is actually more than the gold card that I pulled <laughs> the other day. The, I forget his name, but the the one with the bucket on his head that I don't like. I think that one might actually be the least expensive gold card in the set. Super Rod was actually decently not like it doesn't make this worth its value but like Super Rod great it's a gold card and I actually like if I'm gonna get a gold item as long as it's an item that I've actually used in the game I actually kind of like them. I prefer the Pokemon gold cards but like Super Rod I know of this item and it's fun it's got the Pokeball lure so very nice gold card there. Happy to have pulled that. Now let's see. I'm sure it's, I mean technically like said a lot of things are possible. Is it probable that I'll pull more than one gold card out of this booster? No, it's not a booster box. Elite trainer box? No. But it's possible. <laughs> so let's see if we can also pull that gold masquerada shall we? That would be nice. Now let's see what we got here. We have got a Reverse Rare Luxray. We have got a Toxicroak and we have got, God, I pull this Veluza very often, more than any other card for hollows anyways, I think so far. Now, let's see, come on Pokemon Center. Let's do better. Let's get some art rares. Those are the ones that I really love. So cute. Let's see if I can complete the line. Sorry spoilers if you haven't already watched my booster box opening, but I got the Quaxley and the middle evolution, whatever his name is, Quaxwell, is that what it is, um, of those art rares. So I feel like even though as much as I hate Quackwivel, I want to complete the three. I want to complete the trio. So let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can pull it behind this great ball. Nope, we got a tad bulb. Hey, all right, we got a full art. That's exciting. We got Chien Pao, and it looks great. I'm I'm liking the green outline. I don't know. I guess I don't know for sure that it used to be a black outline. I guess I'm just assuming. But the green looks nice. It hasn't always been green, right? Like, it stands out to me anyways. But that's a nice looking card. We've got the icy background. It just, it looks really good. Yes, full art come through. I mean, I still hate the swords coming out of the mouth. It just, right through the muzzle, it's uh, the pain. The pain. I don't like it. But it's a nice looking card, so I will take it and it's kind of is it supposed to be like some kind of a leopard or is it more of like a ferret I don't really know if it's based on a real animal I mean obviously there's no real animal that has swords coming out of its mouth but you know what I mean the body of it is it based on a real animal I'm not sure but either way a nice looking card now let's see what we can get I don't know uh, uh. Are you gonna be in here, your big full art cards? We've got a Pyroar for a reverse. We have got an Electrode for a reverse. And we've got a Noivern EX. All right, I saw it was something, okay? <laughs> I had to try and be a little excited. I did pull this one already, but I really am. I am happy that the stars are showing up much better in this set for these EX cards. It does, it looks really cool, I think, personally, and it's something new that they're really glittery all over. So let's see, what do we got? Four more packs, including the one that I'm opening right now, four more packs. Let's see, we've got to get some art rares. I want to get at least one art rare out of an ETB. I mean, it's not like it's guaranteed, but it would be nice. So let's see if we can do that. A very cute Jigglypuff, a very cute Tad Bulb, a very beautiful Giraffe Rig. Like, I'm just, it's a good set of artworks, I think, anyways. Now, we've got another reverse Q font. We have got an Oricorio that is a reverse rare. I'll take it. And we got the giant Minecraft Pokemon. 
Okay, well, three packs left, my friends. Let's see what we can get. In this quackable pack, can we get that art rare that I'm looking for? Can we? Can we? Technically, it's possible. I don't know. Are we going to do it? We can sure try. And a lot of my packs have been having little dents on it. I don't know. Quality control? Where was quality control on this set? I've had a lot of poorly cut cards, dull blades. I don't know. It's not as bad as like Burning Shadows, that second print run that they did. What a cool Tauros. I don't know that I've pulled this card yet. I love these Paldean forms of the Tauros. I think that is so cool. And never would I ever have thought Tauros could be a cool Pokemon. I just thought it was average. It's just a Pokemon. But dang, the Paldean forms are so cool. All right, we have got a cute little Paldean Wooper and a Luxray. I seem to pull that one quite often too. Now let's see. Ooh, we're ending with the three starters on our packs. We just have the Quackable one. Now we've got Mascarada and then, oh no, I don't think I know the final form of Fue Coco yet your name. Hmm, my apologies. Hmm, why can't I think of its name? I really, I can't. I'm so sorry. That's my bad. Hello, Quaxley. Hello, Tinkatink. Hello, Fletchinder. Hello, Vigoroth. Hello, Oranguru. Hello, Dunsparce. Very cute. Hello, Shrewdle. And hello, Wigglytuff. Shoot, my friends. We've got to get... We've got to get an art rare, please, in this pack that I don't know your name. <sighs> I don't know why I can't think of it. I can't even really... What's the crocolore? Oh, yeah, it'll... Uh. I just, he wasn't in my game. So, like, I knew Nimona had the Quaxley line. I had the Meowscarada line. So I know their names, but, um, anywho. Please, can we get an art rare in this last pack? That would be excellent. That would feel nice and well-rounded for this Elite Trainer box. We've got a Reverse Rare Veluza. Yay! We did! We got an Orthworm. Okay, it's just one of the single gold star art rares, but that's okay. Sorry, my memory card filled up. We've got the grid lines. I don't know what that's all about, but cool. And then behind it, we've just got a regular rare Obama Snow. Oh, but I'm so happy. A double banger last pack. Alrighty, my friends, who is ready for a recap? I sure am. Now, I didn't pull value out of either of my Elite Trainer boxes. I'm fairly positive but that is okay. I still had a very fun time opening these up with you guys and I would say that the normal Elite Trainer box did slightly worse or I could say the Pokemon Center one did slightly better so I'm gonna give that one the win but let's take a look at what I got out of each one. The regular Elite Trainer box, we've got the beautiful promo card, we got a few reverse rares which I am always very happy about so we will add those to our binder eventually. Eventually. We got an EX that I don't already have, which is great. We also got an art rare card, a single gold card. We got a full art squawkabilly, so very nice. And we also got the double gold star of the textured art rares, and it's beautiful. I really, really like the artwork on this one, so very happy about that. But like said, even though that one, it was good, there were good pulls in there, I do think the Pokemon Center one did slightly better. So I'm gonna give it the win. We did get one more art rare, not art rare. We got one more reverse rare than we did in the original normal box. So we got four of them instead of three. So that's excellent. We also got an EX card. I already have this one, but that's okay. We still pulled an EX card. We also got an art rare, just the single, single gold star, but it's very nice, the Orthworm. And we also pulled a full art, Chen Pao. Very nice. I do like this one better than the Squawkabilly, but either way, they're both new full arts to me, so I will take them. And then on top of that, we also pulled a gold card. We got the Super Rod, so that is very exciting. So yay! I will not be adding these to my binder in this video. You guys know I like to have some extra cards and everything to add into my binder build videos after I open a booster box, so I will be including these pulls in that video, so look out for that video. It should be coming after this one next 
week uh, but I just hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed unboxing the cards with me I hope it was fun for you as always you can let me know answers to any questions I already asked you in the video but otherwise please just let me know how you think I did in my boxes have you opened up any of these elite trainer boxes yet what look have you gotten just in general with Paldea Evolved just let me know things down in those comments below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below I'd really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family be it here on this channel or my main channel I'd love to have you here there and everywhere and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye